We are soldiers, soldiers of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, we shall conquer. We are soldiers, soldiers of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, we shall conquer. You are a soldier. Sujar of the Lord, in the name of Jesus, you shall conquer. Brethren, I welcome you to today's service in the name of Jesus, Cat of Nazareth. Today we are concluding the, the message of the month of April. No retreat, no surrender. Finally, be strong. Be strong in the Lord and see his power. Stand still in the Lord. Don't move out of the Lord so that you can win this battle. Because there are battles that are on that you cannot win alone. Not even with the assistance of humans. Except the Lord builds, the builder builds but in vain. And so be strong and see his glory. Let's move to the book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 and 11. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might, that you will be able to stand the wiles of the enemy. For whether you like it or not, the enemy will always throw darts against you. But whatsoever they throw against you, the Lord is there to rescue you from the arrows of the wicked ones. And that about wraps it up for the day. And for the month of April, we are wrapping it up with this message. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. It's not by power, neither is it by might of man, but by the spirit of the living God. So my encouragement to you today is that you are going to overcome because you belong to the army of the Lord. You belong to the command of Jehovah. He is the commander-in-chief of your battles. He is the commander-in-chief that is facing your battles head headlong. And he will give you victory. He will give us victory in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God is strong and he wants you to be strong as well. And so take everything the master has set out for you. Well-made weapons of the best materials. These things are contained in his word. His word say, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. You will become an overcomer before you know it. You will become a champion before you know it. Remember that you are not fighting an ordinary battle. It is the battle of the spirit. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. In verse 12 of Ephesians chapter 6. But against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world. Even the rulers of darkness is spiritual places of high dimension you will overcome because the Lord is for us because God is with you even though we wrestle not against flesh and blood you will overcome because God is a spirit and he will go into the realm of the spirit to disconfict our enemies so shall it be from today onward as we wrap up this message of no retreat, no surrender, brother be strong, sister be strong in the Lord. Do not lean on your own understanding. Learn how to trust the Lord for every battle that you will face. And let me tell you once more that there is no way you can avoid battles. These battles are there and it must be fought. But the truth is that you are going to win the battle. 
In fact, these battles have been won over 2,000 years ago. These battles are already settled. Already settled battles. Already settled. I'm telling you the truth. Joshua chapter 1. And let me just blast you with verse 9 before I go back to the book of Joshua. Joshua chapter 1 verse 9. He said, Have not I commanded thee? Who is the commander of your faith? Have I not commanded you? Have I not instructed you? Have I not taught you? This word is from the Lord himself. Be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid of anything. Be not afraid of any man. Be not afraid of any demon. For he has taught you. For he has empowered you. For he has empowered us all. On how to overcome. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed when you see them. When they appear, do not mind their appearance. For greater is he that is in you than the demons that come to harass you. The Bible said that they move like a roaring lion. Not that they are a roaring lion. Remember that the real lion is in you. The lion of the tribe of Judah is living in me. Therefore, I can do all things. Therefore, you can do all things. And if you can do all things through Christ that gives us strength, no man can touch you. No demon can approach you and go scot-free. There is fire that emanates from the, from the innermost part of our spirit that conflicts the enemy, that destroys the powers of the wicked ones. And so be ready to face the battle but be rest assured that you are going to win. So do not fear them. Do not be afraid of them. For you are going to overcome. Neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee. Whithersoever thou goest. Anywhere you go to, God is with you. Remember this thing. That anywhere you enter. The lion of the tribe of Judah that is living in you is with you to help you to overcome, to help you to win this battle that is raging on. The world is full of battles. Life is full of battles. But unfortunately, you cannot avoid them. You can just face them headlong and take your victory that God has given to you over 2,000 years ago, even on the cross of Calvary. Let me assure you, that you are a winner, you are not a loser. You are the strongest of the, of the strong elements of this world. You are the strongest because you have God. Because I have God, I can do all things. Because Christ lives in me, I can do all things. Because Jesus is my Lord and personal Savior, I can do all things. It's not by my own might. It's not by my own power. But by the Spirit of the living God. If you can take this within you, you will overcome. Whenever the battles come, you will be the champion. Your, 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 your hands will be lifted up in victory. Because the Lord is with us. Joshua chapter 1. And I'm going to read from verse, from verse 1. Now, after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spoke unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' minister, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now, therefore, arise. This is the time to arise in your spirit. This is the time to be strong in your spirit. This is the time to know that God is for you. This is the time to know that we are not alone in this battle. And so the Lord spoke to Joshua and said, Arise and go over. Go over the walls of the enemy. Go over this Jordan, thou and all these people that I have given unto you, unto the land which I do give to them, even to the children of Israel. There is a portion that belongs to you on this earth. 
that the enemy is contending, that the enemy is sitting on, that those strangers are, are ravaging and scavenging on. But the Lord say, arise today and go and take over. For from today, he will be with you. For from today, the Lord of hosts will be with you. And you will overcome as you take over. You will overpower as you take over. You will be declared the champion of the moment. You will be declared the winner of the battle. Because the Lord is for you. And if the Lord is for you, nobody can be against you and succeed. They will try, but they will not succeed. They will lose the battle because the Lord can never lose battle. If the Lord is on your side, you will never lose any battle, brother. You will never lose any battle. Praise the Lord. And Joshua, and Joshua was listening to the Lord. And the Lord continued to speak to Joshua. And he said, every place that the sole of your feet shall tread upon. <laughs> That have I given unto you, as I said unto Moses, as I said before, the Lord has given the whole world as our own territories. And so that wherever you tread your feet, you will possess them. Anywhere your feet touches, <laughs> the Lord said he has given that place to you. And nobody can take you out of that place except you decided to leave. Are you hearing me? Anything that you lay your hand to possess, the Lord say, I have given it to you. That business that you want to, 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 to be in charge of, that business that you have been believing God for, this is the time that you move forward. Go forward. Go over the Jordan. Go over the obstacle. The obstacle set is nothing but temporary and it's powerless obstacle. The Lord will take you over the Jordan. The Lord will take you over the obstacle so that you can possess your possession, brother. Don't be afraid of them. Because whether you like it or not, they will always be there. You can't avoid them. But know that you have a place on this earth. You have a place in this world that God has prepared for you. Do not cheek away and run away and not grab that which God has prepared for you. God will help you to possess your possession, brother. God will help you to possess your possession, sister. For that is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. That is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning that intention, that plan of yours. That family that you want to set up, God has an interest in that family. That marriage that is coming up and that finance is becoming like River Jordan, becoming an obstacle, you are going to go over that obstacle. Financial blessings will come from left, right, and center. Hey, la brosen de la bosca. God is going to send a destiny helper that will help you to establish that business. You have just graduated and there is a blockade. <laughs> there is a Jordan in front of you that you have to cross. That Jordan is that you have to do bribe in order to be employed. <laughs> hey, that Jordan must bow to the name of Jesus. That Jordan must bow to the name of Jesus. You are going over the Jordan from this month. That job that you have been looking for, that employment that you have applied for, the Lord will give it to you on a platter of gold from now. From now, because you are crossing over the Jordan. You are crossing over in the might of the Lord. This is the will of God concerning you in this matter. This is the will of God concerning you, brother. This is the will of God concerning you, sister. In this matter, you will overcome. You will overcome. And in verse 4, the Lord said, From the wilderness and this Lebanon, and this place where you are, I don't know where you are starting your journey from. God said from, 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 from the wilderness. Uh, you know what wilderness means? Wilderness means lack of water. Wilderness means drought. Wilderness means hopelessness. But the Lord said right from that spot where you are now, right from that confusion where you are now, that confused matter, that confused state where you are now, right through to the to, to, to River uh, uh, Jordan, right through to, to the Lebanon, 
The Lord said he's going to hand them over to you. From the wilderness and the Lebanon, even unto the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of Hittites, and unto the great sea, toward the going down of the sun, shall be a coast. Hallelujah. Possessing my possession. But Lord, I have no power of my own. But the Lord says, be strong, therefore, in the Lord. And in his might, not in your own might. <laughs> and in his might, not in your own might, brother. And in his might, be strong so that you can possess your possession. He said, right from your hopelessness, right from the wilderness of, of failure, right from the wilderness of disappointment, right from the wilderness of sickness and disease, the Lord is taking you out of that wilderness and is taking you even through Lebanon, even through River Euphrates, even through, uh, through the great river that leads to the east, even through the great river, down, 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 down. Up to wherever your mind can carry you. Oh, oh my God. God spoke to Abraham. He said, look, look, look as far as you can see. Then you shall possess. <laughs> and Abraham began to look. Abraham began to look, 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 look. Abraham began to look, 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 look. <laughs> I don't know how far you can see. But the Lord is able to take you through. The Lord is able to drive you through. Even through the wilderness, even through Lebanon, that would like to stand against you, God is saying, even through Jordan, you are going to pass through. God is saying he's going to take us over as we are crossing to the month of May. <laughs> oh, the month of merriment and jubilation. As we are crossing over, <laughs> nobody will be able to stop us. Nobody will be able to stop you, brother. In the name of Jesus, cut off Nazareth. They may try to stop you, but the Lord has given that place, has given that month into our hands. It's a crossover, crossover, crossover from the wilderness and Lebanon, even unto the great river, the river Euphrates, the river that has swallowed many. Brother, you will not be swallowed. Sister, you will not be swallowed. In this journey of this year, 2023, you will get to where God wants you to be. God is taking us through the through through the through the valley that we turn out to become a lifting point. Are you hearing me? Through the valley where there is a great depth. The Bible says that, that that great river, Euphrates, that river that has swallowed a lot of sheep, that has swallowed a lot of souls, you are going to pass through there and you will land in the place of multiple enlightenment. You will land in the arena of multiple blessings. You will land in the arena of multiple enlightenment. Because this is the year 2023 that has been promised you as a year of multiple enlightenment. You are getting there, brother. Sister, you are getting there. I am getting there. We are all getting there together. In the name of Jesus, cut off Nazareth. We are getting there together. I don't care how you feel. I don't care the wilderness that confronts you. I don't know the river that confronts you like River Jordan or River Euphrates. The Lord said he's going to take us through. <laughs> the Lord says he's going to take you through. The Lord says he's going to take you and me through. In the name of Jesus, cut off Nazareth. You will land into a promised land. A promised land. The Bible said to Joshua, you will get there. You will get there. Even the Hittites, all the lands of the Hittites, and unto the great sea, towards the going down of the sun. That is east. You know the going down of the sun? When you go to the east and the middle east, there is always <laughs> an obstruction along the, Lebanon, along the, 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 the route of Lebanon along the route of, of Jordan, along the route of, 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 of Egypt. There's always an obstruction there. But the Lord said, you are going to cross over. <laughs> you are going to cross over. They are going to cross over. Crossing over. Crossing over the Jordan. 
you will cross over. But you need to be strong, brother. You need to be strong, sister. For the Lord is in this battle with you. The Lord is going to fight on your side. And the enemy will be disconfited and be defeated forever. Forever, I mean. And I mean it forever. Forever, 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 forever. I love God because whenever he says a thing, he brings it to come to pass. Hallelujah. I don't know how you're feeling now, but I'm feeling good because the word of God makes me happy. The word of God makes me strong. In verse 5, he said, There shall not any man be able <laughs> to stand before thee all the days of thy life. And he says, As I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. What a promise. A God of promise. Ha! No man will be able to stand before me. No man will be able to challenge me all the days of my life. If I am in Christ Jesus, nobody will be able to challenge me. When I row at the lion rowers, and the lion that rowers in me is the lion of the tribe of Judah. And I want you to believe that you are already an overcomer. For God said he will, he will be able to stand with you, and that he is going to stand with you. In, in so far that you abide in him so that he can abide in you. Abide in God so that God will abide in you. Praise the Lord. Abide in him. Why won't you abide in God? Why are you chicken out like a coward? Call unto him and he will be in that battle with you to secure victory for you. And to disconflict your enemies. Why is it difficult? He said, there shall not any man, any man that can be against you that will go scot-free. As he was with Moses, as he was with Joshua, so is he with me. That is my belief. There shall not be any man, no man, no woman, no demon, no power that will be able to stand the power of Jehovah. The power of the Lord is a power that no man will be able to, to challenge. And when God says it, he means it. And he brings it to come to pass. There shall not any man be able, even though they try, they will not be able to stand before you all the days of my life. All the days of your life. He said, as I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. God is the same yesterday, the same today, and the same forever. What he told Moses, he's, he's telling me today. What he told Moses, he's telling you today. So be strong. So be strong and be ready to manifest the evidence of God's power. Be ready to manifest the evidence of God's power. In verse 6, he said, Be strong and of a good courage, for unto these people shall thou divide for an inheritance the land which I swore unto thy fathers to give to them. Be strong, because there is an inheritance for you, waiting for you to step in. There is a blessing that is somewhere waiting for you to step in in strength. For he has given the land unto us. He promised our father Abraham that he is going to give the land from the wilderness through to the Lebanon, through to the great river of Euphrates, through to the river that leads to the east. He has promised it to you. He has promised it to me. And we are going to take over. <laughs> Who are going to take over? I don't care how you see it, but I know that the word of God will be effective in my life. It will come to pass. And he says only in verse 7, 
only be thou strong and very courageous, that thou may observe to do according to all the law of the Lord, which Moses my servant commanded thee, turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that thou may prosper wherever you go. Only believe in God. Only do the right thing. Do not try and attempt to do the wrong thing so that you can help yourself. Exactly as the commandment of heaven says, do it and God, God will give you victory. God will prosper you. God will prosper you. One of it and the the, 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 the cocoa of the matter is in verse 8. Are you hearing me? It said, this book of the law, which is the word of God. This book of the law. This book, this book, brother. This book, sister. Shall not depart out of thy mouth. Let this book always be in your mouth. Speak it. Speak what the word says. Speak what the word of God says. What is the word of God saying concerning your matter? Say it and it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. Do not allow it to depart from your mouth. Do not say a, 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 another contrary word. Different from what the word says concerning you. The word says that I am a winner. The words did not say that I am a loser. No, he said we are all winners in the Lord. The Lord, the word of God said that I am a champion. He did not, the word of God did not say I am a defeated folk. He did not say you are a defeated folk. Are you hearing me, brother? We are all champions. Champions in the Lord. Champions. Champions. Champions in the Lord. He said, do not allow this book of the law to depart from your mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written here. Everything that is written here, you have to do it. Observe it. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. Do you want to prosper? Consult the word of God. The reward of God approve prosperity? Yes. Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18 and some other verses of the Bible. You will see there. But thou shalt remember that it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth. He is the one that giveth man power to get wealth. So that is prosperity. That is the word of God. You don't need to do 419. You don't need to do ritual in order to get it. You don't need it. Huh? You don't need it. Philippians 4 verse 19. Go and read it. For I can do all things through Christ that gives me strength. Are you hearing me? Philippians 1 19. Philippians. Philippians. Let me read it. Maybe directly to your e hearing. Philippians. Philip. Philippian. Philippian. Chapter 419. In the 419. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful, for you will soon enter trouble. God will soon allow you to enter Wahala. 419. 419. Philippians. <laughs> hey! Some of them will say this pastor. Philippians 419. Are you hearing me? But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by 
Christ Jesus. By Christ Jesus. The Lord will supply all your needs. You don't need to go and do four, another 419. I hear him. Philippians 419. The Lord. Nigeria 419. It's a different ball game. 419. You are defrauding people, scamming people of their hard earned money. And you think it will end there. <laughs> uh, you have just dug your, 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 your grave. You have just dug your grave. You will go. You've just killed yourself. By defrauding people. Defrauding people. You just killed yourself. For you will not go scot-free. I'm telling you the truth. You won't go scot-free. You will beg. You will beg. And by the time you start begging, <laughs> it will be too late. It will be too late. So if you have taken anything from anybody, try and return it. Try and return it. I'm not trying to frighten you. I'm just trying to help you. Try and return it. Mm. Restitution is allowed. Honestly. Return it. Back to my message. Oh my God. This is part 5A of no retreat, no surrender. I'm going to end it here as we move to Part 5B of no retreat, no surrender. Finally be strong in the Lord and in his might. May this week yield beautiful fruits unto you. May this week respond to your prayers. May answers to your prayers be released this week. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray.